Allez, c'est parti video we are going to talk in today's video about what I'm doing right now yes what I'm doing right now is exactly what we're gonna talk about <sighs> Grab a guitar we're gonna get started right after this right after this <laughs> Hello, my name is David Wallerman welcome to this video and this channel which is all about helping Guitar players around the world find their unique voice on the instrument to tell their own personal musical story. Yes, today we're talking about, well, we're talking about uh, making a point, making a real point by repeating elements of your statement. It's so important. I'm doing it right now, right? Now, this backing track, before we start, you can download that for free with the charts completely free just follow the link below it'll take you to a page sign up for free you'll get access to this video and all the others with all the assets super easy okay well i mean you know the concept already it's just repeating stuff now it's a matter of putting that to practice on the instrument and first of all what i'm saying is that i am um, repeating statements without cloning them it's very important in other words, you don't want to just um, play over a track, have a, let's say we have a, sorry, I'm going to lower the volume in the, in the room here. Let's say we have a lake here, like this. Hey, you've heard that before, right? I'm not saying repeat that. I mean, you can if you want. But what I'm saying is, is taking this as a statement, a sentence. Let's say that this means something. Maybe it means I didn't sleep well tonight. Well, I could say I didn't sleep well tonight. I didn't sleep well tonight. I didn't sleep well tonight. Well, first of all, you might wonder how, how, how did I not sleep well tonight if tonight is in the future and it's like, that, that was a lame sentence. But the idea is instead of repeating that, cloning it, instead of saying I didn't sleep well tonight, which would be last night, you say something like, tonight I didn't sleep well. No, I did not sleep well. Actually, I, no, I didn't sleep well. See what I did there? That's what we're going to do on the instrument. So let's go back to our, uh, our track here. Um, that was our statement, right? I can say that by maybe taking each of these notes and pretending that these notes are words and repeating one of these words. Maybe that that is an important word for me i want to emphasize that so i'll go back to it maybe adding a few extra words in there but developing and just like any idea you have um, three main components you have beginning the middle and the end the opening, the meat, and the outro. The bread, the meat, and the bread on top, the sandwich method. And so if you can classify every single element mentally with these three elements, now you have three things to choose from. Let's try another one. We'll, we'll play with the backing track in just a little bit. This is just to get used to that idea. We're in a key of G, by the way, G minor pentatonic, which will fit this. backing track that, that you can download again. Um, let's try this idea. Okay, so we're in minor pentatonic, second position. We're, we're starting here on the first string, fret number eight, bending it, full step bend, and then going to six, and then uh, second string, fret eight, and then we're gonna end on the first string, sixth fret. So this idea is made of really one, two, three, just three notes. 
Okay, so that's what we have. I can play the tempo a little bit. I can repeat some things. Maybe take uh, pieces of that and rearrange them. Now, if we play over the track, these notes are going to have context, right? A note by itself doesn't mean anything, but that note in relation to uh, G, for example, means that. But maybe it's played against the C, which is the second chord of the track, or the D. So a note can have multiple meanings, and that's what we're going to kind of like, we're going to play around that. So here's our track, here's our lick. Okay. repeated segments of that. Just one idea. Sorry. <laughs> it said it was on purpose. <laughs> it wasn't. So extract, it's, it's kind of like extracting the juice out of an idea as much as you can and get used to that. Now, of course, when you play, you don't want to overdo it, but you'll know. And typically, players don't overdo it at all. They tend to move so fast from one idea to the next that the listener has a hard time um, following what's going on. So practice that. Take a note, repeat it. That lick, I can say it with a stutter. That would work fine. I could take these three Micro ideas, this, this, and this, and this, and change the order. Instead of doing idea one, two, three, or note one, two, three, maybe I'll do three, two, one. Okay, that works. Or three, two, one, sorry. Uh, like that. Or maybe one, three, two. All those different things, repeating tempo, and, and this can be practiced anywhere. That's actually what I often do. I'm driving and that's how I practice my... Why, why do I always drive? Anytime I have an example, I'm driving. I'm not always driving. I live five minutes away. Walking. Anything. I, I, I say a story. Once upon a time, there was... There was... The bear was not, he really was not hungry at all because that repeating statements, saying stories. And then when you grab the instrument, you have that mindset of storytelling experience thing and it comes out. It just does. And my phrasing has never, I'm not saying that it's a great phrasing. That's not what I'm saying, but it's never been as good as these days because I've got a little kids and I'm telling them stories all the time. And that comes out in my, in my playing. All right. Well, grab the track. It's free. The link is below. I'm going to jam a little bit more, trying to extract juices from different ideas, zone by zone. That's another thing you should try to do. So we've got our, here's, here's a close-up cam. We've got uh, zone number one. I'll try to find an idea in there. I'll try to find three ideas using that. and maybe I'll reverse them. And I'll do the same thing with zone number two, right here. Okay, that's way one of doing that. Two. Okay, these three ideas are, are similar, not cloned, but similar. Then I'll move on to zone number three. Uh, zone, so I don't know my pentatonic scales. Yes, I do. Okay, that's one idea. Just take an idea. Repeat it multiple times. Position three. And then repeat that without cloning it. Or 
change the order of notes. And then zone number five. And so forth. So that's how you develop that. All right, I hope you like this. Thank you so much for watching this till the end. Remember, you can get this backing track in the charts for free. It's a great musical canvas to just start developing ideas. And uh, if this is your first visit, thank you for stopping by. You should consider subscribing because every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, new video day on the channel, helping guitar players around the world find their voice on the instrument to tell their own personal musical story. Thank you so much. Practice well. I'll see you next time.